6.4 number 13, another trinomial, and we want to factor by trial and error. And remember, if you're not liking the trial and error after you do a bunch of them, you know, give it enough time, try them out, you can always go back to 6.3 method and use the grouping method. All right, so first we look at factors of 20. Factors of 20 are 4 times 5, 2 times 10, or 1 times 20. And factors of 15 for the last terms, 3 times 5 or 1 times 15. And they're going to have to add up to be a negative 13. So I'm just going to start with the 4 times 5, or so 4x and 5x, so I know that I've got 20x squared for the beginning. And now I need to put in factors of 15 on the last pieces so that my last term is going to be minus 15 when it multiplies out. And let's see if we can get the signs to help us. Minus 15 has to be the, uh, the product of the two last pieces. That means they have to be opposite signs, and they have to add up to be a negative 13. Well, that's not helping too much to tell me what to put here. I don't know if it's plus minus or minus plus, and it really depends on what's the size of these factors. So I'm not even going to put anything right now. I'm just going to run through combinations, and I'll just start with the first one I listed, 3 times 5 plus, minus. That's all I know is that I need to put opposite signs because the last term has to be a negative 15. And then we see if it works. If it doesn't work, I've got some options to try. First is going to be switch the signs. Second option is rotate the positions of the 5 and 3 and then switch the signs again if it's not working. So there are a lot of possibilities when you have a negative at the end here. All right, middle term, 15x minus 20x. So it's minus 5x, didn't work, so let's keep going. 4x, 5x, and if I switch the signs, I'll go ahead and do that so you see what's going to happen there. Middle term is going to be minus 15x plus 20x. That's just going to switch the sign of my middle term. And so if I, I know the size of the middle term wasn't right in the first place, I don't really need to switch the sign because it's just going to change it to the opposite sign but keep the same size. So the other option I want to consider is the ordering here. I've got 3 and 5 here and the plus minus going with them. Now I need to switch and put 5, 3. I'm just going to keep it plus minus and see what happens. Right, because now they're hitting, they're each hitting a different sized term than they were before. Middle term, 25x minus 12x. And that gives me a 13x. So that's close. We're looking for negative 13x. So now I know if I switch the sign, I'll have it right. And let's just double check. minus 25 plus 12x minus 13x. That's it. And if that didn't work, I would keep going because we also have 2 times 10. And we would have to try it out for all these different combinations. If the 3 and 5 didn't work, we would go to the 1 and 15. Um, the 1 times 20, same thing, trying it with the 3 and 5 in all combinations. The 1 and 15, all combinations. So the hard part about using the trial and error method is that it can take a real long time. But like I said, if you find that you like it, you are going to start seeing patterns after a while to help you do it quicker. But um, if you're not really seeing patterns, I think that the factor by grouping method is going to generally be the quicker method for you.